Discussion on Sacular Aneurysm of Proximal Descending Thoracic Aorta Demonstrated on Chest X-ray and CT Scan The sacular aneurysm of the proximal descending thoracic aorta is visible within the cardiac salute just below the aortic knuckle on the left border. It is partly overlapped by the main pulmonary artery shadow. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. The cardiac size is normal and so is the ascending aorta. The findings on this chest x-ray are quite subtle so as to be missed by a casual examination. Similar findings may sometimes be noted in the elderly with atherosclerotic changes in aorta without much aneurysmal dilatation. CT scan demonstrates the aneurysm very well. The wall of the aneurysm is partly calcified. The aneurysm measured about 5.5 cm and was sacular. There was a past history of major trauma several years back producing multiple fractures. Sacular aneurysms in general have a higher risk of rupture than fusiform aneurysms. Causes for sacular aneurysms of the aorta include infections like tuberculosis and syphilis, progression of a penetrating atherosclerotic ulcer, prior trauma or aortic surgery, Bursette's disease and Takayasu arthritis. In the case illustrated here, remote trauma could have a causative role. A retrospective study using a radiology database from 2003 to 2011 identified 322 sacular aortic aneurysms in 284 patients. 219 of these were in the descending thoracic aorta as in the case illustrated here. 11 patients had ruptured sacular aortic aneurysms on the initial scan. Mean aneurysm growth rate was 2.5 mm per year in the study. Predictors of increased growth by multivariate analysis were decreased calcium burden and increased age of patient. Here are a couple of journal references. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.